Hi, it's Liz Needham. Let's have a look at identifying and describing the direction of any patterns we find for relationship investigations. So when I talk about direction, there's two types that we're looking for. We're looking at is it increasing or is it decreasing? Now some people also like to refer to it as positive and negative and that's quite acceptable as well. So you, it's your preference which one you prefer. So if we have an increasing trend, then when I come to justify this, I'm always going to refer first of all to my explanatory variable, which is the horizontal axis. So I always want to talk about as my explanatory variable increases, and then if it's an increasing trend, the response variable is going to be increasing. Whereas if I have a decreasing trend, I would say as my explanatory variable increases, the response variable decreases. So we need to be able to do it one or the other of these to justify the relationship. So let's look at an example here. So this is looking at the fuel efficiency of cars when they are driving on city roads versus on the open roads. So the first thing I want to do is draw a blob around my data. I want to identify the pattern. Then I want to think about is it increasing or decreasing. And in this case, I have an increasing relationship between my fuel efficiency and of it being in the city and in the open roads. So notice how I've got both of the numeric variables and I've explicitly talked about it being increasing. Then to justify it, that's the second sentence I have there, I talk about as the fuel efficiency in the city, because that's on my horizontal axis, that's my explanatory variable, as the fuel efficiency in the city increases, my fuel efficiency in the open road increases. So that's an example of an increasing relationship. Let's have a look at this one. This is looking at the stride length of, of um, people that run marathons and the time it takes them to run marathons. So step one, draw my blob around the data. And what I'm going to look for, this is a decreasing relationship, and it's going to, it's between the stride length and the time it takes the athletes to complete a marathon. So I've always got that sentence in context with both of the variables in it. Now I need to justify it. So justifying, remember we always talk about the as the explanatory variable increases. And so I'm going to say as my stride length increases, the time that it takes to run the marathon decreases because the relationship is a decreasing one. So there's an example of a decreasing relationship for you. Thanks for watching.